Hey everyone, welcome to I Just Watched, another episode of Unbox. We're talking Marvel Legends Kang the Conqueror, another figure from the Joe Fixit build a figure wave. Kang looks pretty dope. As you can see, uh, Joe Fixit's leg is missing. Uh, same thing with the Falcon. Uh, I took out the legs because I'm trying to get rid of them. Oh. I'll put a link to both our Mercaris. Like a lot of people were excited for uh, the Joe Fixit build a yeah. figure, and we were, uh, not, we were not part of that. We were not a part of that bandwagon. Like I like the I like the character, like in the comics and stuff. I think it's interesting. Like he's I right. like he's not necessarily like my favorite, but like ah, he's I. Right. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like him enough to be like I need a figure. Like there's other characters that I personally deserve a figure, or like mm -hmm. you know never had a figure. I'm like I would really rather prefer to I see how he looks, but he he's not he's not great, and he's he's supposed to be Great Hulk. Yeah, he's supposed to be Joe Joe because it's Joe Fix It. Uh, he's great. Yeah, and, he's, and that has a Hulk from. Uh, I remember reading it from a uh, Earth. I read the number and I don't remember now. Well, I mean, originally, uh, well, that was that, but uh, now he's actually a persona of uh, Bruce Banner. Oh, is he? Yeah, because it turns out that Bruce Banner has multiple personality disorder. Yeah, something so, like that. Something like that. So oh, I don't know that. Yeah, so. it's because I, I just know originally that like, mm -hmm. he was a. Pretty much almost identical to, to our Hulk, except he was gray and pretty much had the same powers and everything, and he walked around in a suit. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, like, and then, the, like, the figure itself, like, he's supposed to be gray, he, lo he looks more like a pale green, which is garbage, mm -hmm. and he looks too much like the movie Hulk. Yeah, he versus... Like Mark Ruffalo Hulk, instead of comic trying accurate. to go comic accurate. This is the front view, yep. and then you can, we can show you the back view right here. See a few extra stuff. A few little extra stuff, a little bit of artwork on the, on the side. I always dig the artworks. Yeah, do the the pictures they be painting yeah, be pretty, bro? Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I think they're probably stripped from the comics as well, but I don't, I'm not sure. So you can see right here, like it's kind of like a separate thing, cause if oh like, yeah, it's like almost really like on, it's literally like on, like actual clothing, like shirt so. type shit. Mm -hmm. That's dope. So and then he can go side to well, he can actually go full three sixty on his roll. Okay. So, but I mean, when is that guy gonna do it? Hmm. Belt's kind of built into it. Yeah. His legs, uh, so he can kick far this much. Cool, almost ninety. And then you kick far back, not really much. Yeah, it starts to kick to the side. Can do the splits like Pretty this. Pretty well, yeah, just damn. Pretty well. Uh, he does come with a thigh cut, which is like inside cool. the boot That's itself. Cool. He double jointed knees. Oh, he can tap himself in the boot. Yeah, you can do that much. He does not have a, uh, a boot cut. cut, so that's the one thing. That's I think that's one like I think bad thing about this figure. He doesn't have a boot cut. Yeah. Ankles go far down this way. And then this way, and they have a little pivot. Yeah. For you know, for posing purposes. Yup. But um, yeah, I mean, for being the first, I guess Hasbro figure for Kang. Yeah. I guess the first Hasbro Kang. <laughs> yeah. Because we've had the uh, uh the previous well no the Marvel Legends before was also a uh, Hasbro but so this is technically the second time Hasbro has made a Kang. Because I don't remember him for like uh Toy Biz. I don't remember Toy Biz creating a Kang so. It's not too bad. Um, I kind of want, I guess, a, a better version of this. Mm -hmm. But for now, this is actually pretty good. Yeah. This is this is a good start for uh, Kang the Conqueror. Yo. I think he's teased to be in the next phase for Marvel uh, MCU. For the MCU. Yeah, uh, they casted him. He's going to be in uh, Ant-Man uh, yeah. Part 3. Ant-Man and the so Wasp Part 3. We'll see if, he, if he's a recurring uh, villain. I hope so, because he actually he's is a very, powerful. very important villain in Marvel, Marvel Comics. Comics. And I mean, he's a super great, like to the square to the eighteenth power, times seventeen, grandchild of uh, Richards. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's weird. So because his last name is uh, Richards. Yeah. And so it's weird. So. So the first family, bro. This is one of the and descendants. I think, and I think he did make his debut in comics uh, with the Fantastic Four. So. If I remember correctly. Fantastic Four comic. And technically, in um, Ant Man and the Wasp, like they confirmed that. The city he lives in with it is connected. I forget the name of the city, but it's connected to multiple time periods at once. Well, yeah, he's is where she was, uh, where... All right, everyone, so King the Conqueror standing, like, what, six? A little like above that? six. That little like six and a quarter, maybe? Yeah, that little helmet gives him a little extra quarter inch, you know? Trying to look, compensate, hey, obviously. <laughs> hey, look, uh, on Tinder, he's six one, bro. Pretty <laughs> standard six-inch figure. No no big difference. Um, Homegirl's wife, uh, a.k.a. Michelle Pfeiffer, was at the whole time she was in the quantum realm. Mm -hmm. So I'm interested to see what they do with him. He's a dope character. He's extremely smart, so he's powerful. So I'm interested to see what they do with him. I'm interested. Yeah, he's, to see he's, where a, that goes. he's a very big menace for the Avengers, just for the fact that he's just smart as hell. Yeah. And uh, the suit does grant grant him with enhanced strength, and yeah. you know he can li basically live within the suit for fucking years. Pretty much. 
But uh, I mean, not, I mean, can't really say much bad about this figure. Uh, but let us know if you uh, if you enjoyed this uh, figure, if you have this figure, uh, if if you actually enjoyed it, if you didn't, uh, let us know in the comments. Comments, questions, concerns, requests down below in the comment section. We definitely want to hear from you. Uh, if you can remember the name of the city that he stays in, that's like connected to multiple different times at the same time, let me know in the comment section because I always forget the name of it. Without any further ado, stay safe, be well, and adios. <laughs> Goodbye.